Well, we got a bit of an issue here. Uh, power went out. It's been out for four. You see anything? Four days. All right, so here's the sitch. We ain't got no power, as you could tell by the dark basement. But here's why. Try to stay clear of it, but that is a branch on our power line that goes directly to my house. And uh, if you hear loud sounds, it's because my neighbors all have generators. And I don't. Because it feels like one of those things where as soon as I buy it, I'll never need it again. And I'm sure that's the case. Uh, sound off in the comments if you agree with me on that. <laughs> so currently, what we're doing is uh, my wife and I are here. We're wearing our headlamps walking around the house because what the hell else am I supposed to do? I can't see anything. And uh, my kids, luckily, were able to go to my mom's place. And I just left the kids there. We came back here because we do have two little bunnies to take care of. We're going to make sure they live. So we got little little sushi here. We got a little squishy over here. She always hides in this thing. It looks like a little snail shell. That tunnel is her safe haven. Trying to safely heat this place up with a kerosene heater and venting it out. And we're wearing super sexy clothing, yeah? Yeah. I know. I feel good too. We're pissing off our house too. You can see my breath. That's bad. Anyways, it's super cold, right? Yeah. It's really cold. So we're just gonna hang out. What are we gonna do? We're gonna play trivia, we're gonna drink <laughs> beers. <laughs> we're gonna do Harry Potter trivia? Yeah. So it's Harry Potter trivia night. We're gonna drink some dad pops and some mom pops. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna read. We're gonna play with the bunnies. Oh yeah, and we're gonna let our bunnies out. So, yay. And then tomorrow I'm going fishing, probably. And I'll clean out the freezer. And she's gonna throw away all of our food that has surely gone bad. Uh, but I just cooked up some steaks. They were good, right? They were so good. Yay. So we just ate some steaks. We made use of the meat before it went super bad and killed us. So that's good. Yeah. I mean, gosh dang. What, what can you do? This is just the way things are sometimes, right? We're gonna see if these bunnies are gonna play. Alright, let's go fishing instead. And we're officially on a dirt road. Here we go. Like, why does the gate for a storage unit, is there like a legal requirement where it has to be only a quarter mile an hour? All right. Let's do it. Just stuff you know you're gonna forget at some point it's gonna be the paddles i forgot my bed extender i think we can survive this the paddles we need those and also i'm just breathing in exhaust fumes so if i don't make it you know why oh <laughs> Now we're good. We took four flipping tries. <sighs> On to the gas station. All right, so uh, what are we doing today, Jeff? We're gonna, oh, we're packing up our boxes. So uh, Jeff's a coward, wouldn't back out of his driveway because of a down power line, wimp. And, Across uh, my driveway. <laughs> and uh, I okay. am jacked up on caffeine. You are a little bit out of control. I am out of my mind. Right. And so what we're doing is we're gonna pack up some day boxes because we're gonna use my canoe. We're gonna go on a little local spot and uh, that's the that's the deal. So Jeff has to pack the hard baits. It looks like he's got 750 pounds of terminal tackle he's gonna have to sift yep. through. I have one quick cube, yep. a Busby quick cube of plastics. That's what I got. So I'm gonna do the same. Look at that, plenty of room. Dude, I can fit 20 more plastics in here. But I won't. I mean, look at this. Check this out. This is just perfect. Oh, God, that smells. Put the fuel in. It's kerosene, man. <laughs> That's right. Pump that pump. This is the reality of this situation here. <laughs> Food soap or, soak a rope of kerosene. <laughs> Name that movie. Home Alone 2. Kerosene, the rope is soaked in it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a handle, you dork. Who would do that? The handle doesn't work for carrying. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, now light a match. 
Alright, how do I light this thing again? Oh Perfect. no, they, they, they always are though. Even the propane ones, they're like, turn it in, cord to the right, prime yeah. it twice, turn it to the left, back again, prime it twice, turn Give it to it. the back to the right, three times, push the button hard, wait 30 seconds, light a match! The other manual open. has like cartoons. Shh, 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 shh. Open the door below the mica window. It's open. Okay. Push the auto start knob. Why aren't you doing it? The burner will be lifted up and the igniter oh, this. Will, okay. will yep. appear and begin to glow. <laughs> the wick. As the wick approaches the glowing igniter, ignition will occur. As soon as flames are observed through the open no. window, release the ignition knob, which will lower the burn chamber. Where are you? Oh, I got it. Okay, then what? Burn chamber. We have ignition. Oh, God. <sighs> When's the last time we were in a canoe together? I said 10 years. 10 it's, years? Do you think it's been that long? Since extravaganza? Yeah. At least. All right, so here's the deal. We're going to my lake, because I only have one vehicle. My truck is still blocked in my garage. Because of that ipso facto. We got the canoe. We got the canoe and we're going to my lake right beside my house. Look at that. Look at that skim ice. Oh no. Yeah. We're gonna have to chip our way through this. Hopefully it's not too thick. Yeah. We'll see. Oh, it's nothing. We can get through this. What's up, nerds? We made it out of that powerless home and we came to good old Mother Nature, who is covered in ice, apparently. So we're gonna have to chip our way out to the main lake, I think. But that could be fun, right? It's going to be a hilarious journey. <laughs> it's not far at all, it's only like an inch of ice. Yeah, we have to make it like 50 yards less than to get to the water and we're good. So the setup we're rolling with today is Skinny City. Check this out. We got the canoe, right? It, Beautiful. The logo on the back there. Saranac 146. It's got the uh, the old Walker's pickle tag on the back. That's my, pretty cool. My son's name is Walker. This is his boat, and it's a green, elongated, pickle-looking thing. I mean, what else can we ask for? <laughs> Comfy seats. What else seats, would you call for? Plenty of space for storage. We got an anchor in the back. Nice yeah. big three and a half pound anchor. Yeah. Uh, and we got plenty of room for snacks. So we each have a tackle bag. I think both of us are rocking one day box, one uh, Busby terminal. Quick Cube. Oh yeah. One Busby Quick Cube, a plastics, and then terminal. That's what yep. we're running. And then, so pretty light and easy. Uh, then we both have two setups. We basically have a do it all, more generic use yep. bay casting system. Uh, and then we have a something like a medium light or a light for doing some ultralight type stuff. Yep. Uh, because it's cold water fishing, so we have like it's winter fishing, so the water should be 40s. Yeah, it should low. be 40s. It's honestly, at best 45. Yeah. And uh, so we are going winter fishing only. That's it. Yep. So you're gonna see some ultralight stuff, some light stuff. I got a drop shot rig with me. I'm probably gonna be throwing that a lot and just letting it sit there. Radical. So let's get to breaking some ice. I'm gonna be honest, first impressions, pretty comfy canoe. It really is. I love it. I love it. Do I have a paddle? Yeah, it's right oh. behind you. Left foot, left knee. There's a little sheet for it. Aha! Yeah. Neat. You ready? Yep, go for it. Oh. Neato, gang. I think we could do this. Hang on. This is absolutely absurd. Madness? <laughs> Are we trying to turn? Yeah. Okay. I think, yeah, if we get going that way, we're gonna be in a pretty good spot. I know. Keep chopping, I'm pushing. You chop, I push. We'll be out of here in no time. Two shakes of a lamb's tail. <laughs> <laughs> this is so great. We're getting there. Look at the progress we've made. <laughs> shush, 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 shush. Don't look back. Oh, that was Progress City right there. Dude, we're making money moves. Woo! Heck you, Ice. Heck you. All right, yo, and with three simple moves, we made it to the water. Okay, so what do we got? I got a white mule minnow. I like it. Because I'm smart. I think we should stay in the sunny water, though. I agree. 
You want to hit the yeah, we can we can work this yeah. bank. Stay let's through. just let's just drift and work this bank. Which one? To your left. Yeah. The sun sun soaked bank. Yep. Apocalyptic power outage fishing. <laughs> Apocalyptic. <laughs> way, to, way to not sensationalize this at all. What are you talking about? Welcome to the internet, nerd. Oh, we got power. No way. Yay! Now she can flush the toilet and she's not mad at me. <laughs> Flipping a drop shot. Go ahead. And I'm on. Oh, oh decent. Bad. Bad. You drop -a -drop? Yep. Oh, nice one. Right Come here, buddy. Holy All right. Oh, I had it sitting there taking my gloves off. Yeah. Hey! Not the first bass of the year. I got one on ice, but this is first open water bass of the year. What's up, dude? Oh, this guy's been, look at Sun's getting chewed on. Yep. Look at that. Sun. All right, buddy. Thank you. I'm happy with that. Dude, super cold water bass. <laughs> look at that. That took him like a minute. All right, listen to that ice. Yep. Yeah. All right, so all of this is good. Yep. Let's fish through. And we'll, I'll turn us straight, we'll drift towards the cove. Time for some slow, fast fishing. Might be jerkbait time too over here. I got sick of drop shotting, so I'm gonna jerk bait for a little bit. I was kind of hoping this would produce a little bit more, but we'll see. On. Jerk bait. Double hooked. Oh, no, got one free. There we go. Don't stab me. Hey, an exact copy of every bass I've caught today. <laughs> exact same size. Cold water. Oh, he's ready. All right, cool. Try and swim him a little bit, you know, for my, my fishy friends. Slash everybody that yells at me on the internet for not swimming my fish. Throwing this X-Wrap, got a little bit of flash to it in there too, which is nice on this sunny day. This is normally heavily vegetated over here. This is all pads. Yep. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, big, 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 big. Yo, big, 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 big. Okay, uh, hang on. We're, we're just gonna have to lip him. Coming up, coming up. That's a giant, dude. He swallowed it, he swallowed it. What a freaking tank. All right, dude, this is gonna be so hard to lip him. Grab him, just grab him. <sighs> come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. All right, got him. Oh. Yo! That's the biggest one ever. Woo! Yes, dude. He hit so subtle, but then when he started fighting, I was like, uh-oh. No scale. This is this could be a five. I, I think this is a five. You got look at the belly on this thing. Oh my god. Okay. There's no way. All oh, oh my god. 493. 493. Bro. Alright, hang on. Can I get a pick real quick and we'll get him out of here? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Bruh. Just on the flat. That's so good. Wow, we're gonna let her go. Nice and easy here. She's looking good. Looking good. Oh, she's good. Yo! Yes! Dude, put on a jerk bait. Let's go just jerk baits forever. Oh my god. Remember that time that we went in the water because Paul was really mad and he just threw us in? No. <laughs> no, I don't. Jeff. And then it was a rescue mission? It's always, it's always a rescue mission. Whenever it's a rescue mission, I only trust the people with bucket hats. <laughs> if you don't got a boonie, get out of my face. Why are you here? Yeah, I'm sorry, officer. I'm gonna wait for somebody who's actually helpful. You don't look qualified. <laughs> You're not qualified. <laughs> I'm a 30 year veteran. Yeah, okay. Of what? Of what? Not wearing the right hat. You moron. 
job. You're not even equipped for the job. Can I move? All right, let's move. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go back where we caught the five. Sorry, the 4.93. All right, we'll do that and then we'll bank back around. We're practicing for the Olympics currently. Uh, I mean, I thought 767,000th place was good. Was that bad? It's sub 1 million. Sub millionth place. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Everybody's got sexy streamlined boats and stuff. I'm over here with the Saranac 146. <laughs> Are like, why are these idiots out there there's no fish fish don't bite in the winter can we do the kids version oh sugar get your towels ready <laughs> get the fire truck up <laughs> this boat is real this boat is hyper realistic it's, it's in the third dimension. <laughs> Not it. All right, set out. All righty. Put a pin in that one, eh? <laughs> Just a little farther. Oh, golly gee. Willikers. I was going to say it. Whee! What did you learn? Nothing. All right. All right, y'all, first trip of the season in a boat, I would say. So first day uh, out on the boat, first time we did the canoe yep. together. So that, that baddie, the, the Saranac. This is great. World record speed Saranac. It was pretty great. It was pretty fast. I, th I enjoyed my time in the canoe a lot more than I thought I would. We can travel light. Uh, we were able to cast and work around each other pretty easily. So I would say what it, one thing that I learned right off the bat is that we can pilot this canoe, get on and off the water very quickly and travel light. And that yeah. was fun. I had fun with that. Agreed. Uh, the other thing is the water is gosh dang cold. I mean, obviously we still have ice right there. That's all ice. Uh, but once we got past this, the rest of the lake was open. For there the most part. There was one other. Here and couple, there. Yeah, a couple patches, but it was open. There was three fish total caught today. Uh, were shallow. Pretty much every single one is three to five feet max. I think the first two were maybe in a foot or two of yep. water, actually. And then uh, the all, so close to five, it was stupid. Beautiful. Four, fish, nine, man. three. So sick. So just belly hanging out, dude. Oh my Big God. Big mouth though, bucket mouth for Bucket sure. mouth, that was awesome. On the jerk bait, so white was kind of the color. Two on the drop shot on the mule minnow in white using a tiny, I think it was a number two hook and uh, quarter ounce weight. So power finessing, that worked. And then uh, the jerk bait. I can say definitely didn't dial it in today, but a few good catches. That one, one very no, nice. We got very happy with that catch. I'm happy with three fish yeah. in four hours in a in a 45 degree water day yep. in a canoe. And honestly, <laughs> the other thing that we definitely learned that I think was a win was pack and light. Two rod yep. setups was perfect. One spinning, uh, one bait casting, and then just a day box and plastics for the day. Like that actually. Yep was a big win and again just one like i would take this out way more often in the summer fun day though fun it day. was all in all very fun uh let us know what you guys think of the format we want to change things up on the channel have some more fun with this yeah. so give you some of the behind the scenes uh kind of the journey that we're going on on these trips we are two very busy dads that get to fish like four hours a week yep. so we pack whatever we can into these trips uh, but I'm having fun with this. Hopefully you guys are too. If you are, be sure to subscribe, smash that like, ring that notification bell. All right, let's get out of here. Later, nerds. Bye.